This is why I love making PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Pride of Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, this is a YouTube subscriber request who wanted to know how can I use my modded PS3, fat or slim, connected to my laptop or my desktop without using a router, just have it connect directly. So here's the setup, and I'm going to try something new for today. So what we have is the PS3 is in the background here. It's got an Ethernet cable, could be a Cat5 or Cat6 cable, and it goes into my laptop here on the left. And it doesn't have to be a crossover cable if your computer is pretty new within the last, let's say, 5 to 10 years. Because the computer will be able to automatically translate that cable connection into a crossover cable. In the event that you try and do this tutorial and your cable doesn't work, then you might need to get an actual crossover cable. But they're pretty cheap these days or get a little adapter. So let me show you how this works on the PS3. And I'm going to take some shortcuts here. And this it works great. And let me show you some uh, tips and tricks. So log into your local account. Go to network settings. And then what we're going to do is set up the Ethernet. So go to Internet Connection Settings. And then what we're going to do is go to Custom, Wire Connection, Manual Settings, Auto Detect, Manual for IP Address Setting. And this is where the magic happens. Typically, IP addresses are like 192.168.1. whatever. I didn't want to scroll through all those numbers, so I'm going to say 1.1.1.2. You'll see how this works and why I decided to do this very shortly. So that mask 255, 255, 255.0. Default router, you cannot have all zeros, so I just put a 1. Primary DNS and secondary DNS, these values don't matter, so put whatever you want. I just happened to have these values when I was um, playing GTA 5 because the server was down one time and it just stuck with those values. So just put whatever you want here, it doesn't matter. And then keep on going. Automatic, do not use, enable, press X to save. And that's pretty much it on the PS3 side, okay? And now what we're going to do is go to the computer. So why is this useful? Let's say that your PS3 and your computer is in the same room. You don't, or, uh, yeah, is in the same room, for example. You don't have a router because it's downstairs or whatever. You want to transfer files over the network easily to your PS3. So that's why this tutorial is useful. Okay, so let's go to my other input source. And let's go to my laptop here. And let me show you how this works. We're not going to take any shortcuts. I'm going to show you from A to Z how this works. And we're going to be using um, Windows 10 64-bit as an example. So follow along. So down here, we're going to go to Control Panel. Once you're in Control Panel, we're going to go to the Network Settings. How do you get there? Basically, if you're using Category View, just go to Network and Internet. And then go to Network and Sharing Center. And then Change Adapter Settings. So for this tutorial, what I am doing was I disabled my wireless. You don't have to, but I did that just to show you guys that, yes, this is working just on the local LAN. Uh, between two uh, devices. So here's my local area connection to that's my Ethernet cable. So I'm gonna right click here, go to properties, go to Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IP v4, go to properties, and here you go to use the following IP address, and this is where the, the other half of the magic happens. So I want I don't want to type in other numbers. I mean you can type whatever you want, just make sure it's in sync with your PS3, but like my PS3, let's do one dot one dot one dot one. And the PS3 is 1.1.1.2. Remember that? Set that mask. That's fine. And then default game and all the other stuff. You can actually leave it blank and say OK. OK. So now what do you want to do? You want to transfer files to the PS3. OK, great. So let's go ahead. Let's start out FileZilla. It's a free FTP program. Go ahead and use whatever program that you want that you're comfortable with. But FileZilla is awesome. So that's what I'm going to use. In the top left-hand corner, we're going to type in the PS3 IP address. So it's going to be 1.1.1.2. Press Enter. And we see that abracadabra, everything worked because here's the contents of my PS3 on the right-hand side. So let's say I go to dev underscore HDD0, and I just want to install like a mod menu today. So I'm waiting for it to load. Great. I go to game. Let's go to my Black Ops 2, which happens to be the BLES. Uh, actually, I don't have it installed. But if I did... I could transfer some files. So let's say, for example, that um, I go to the temp folder because I'm installing some kind of mod menu or something. So I go to the temp folder, and then over here, let's say that I want to copy over some uh, SPRX files. So then I go over here, and I copy over the Jericho SPRX file. That's an example. So, um, And then you can transfer whatever else you want. Maybe you want to transfer your ISO games or your PS2 games or PS1 games or package files or whatever. Um, so that's how that works. And that is today's video tutorial. So if you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.